Hey guys, I'm just doing a bit of work on the 140 inch scale white freight liner. So you'll see that I've already cut out and mounted the uh, floor pan being a DVD player. What I've done is uh, there's, one, there's eight screws holding it on. I've cut a piece out here and cleared it for the uh, doghouse. But you should be able to see the standoffs under there. <clears throat> so yeah, this will be cut, uh, it'll have a curve cut in it to match the front of the truck and I'll probably, and I'll cut the sides off and probably the back shorter. This was just to get it mounted but it needs to be a bit narrower and maybe a bit shorter for that cab style. But uh, I thought I'd do a quick video and just show you a method I use for keeping things scale. So you can do this with any image. So this isn't even an image, this is a screenshot of a video on YouTube <clears throat> of the truck. So I start using at this stage uh, what I call the constants and the variables. The wheel is the constant because there it is. And that's what we're going to use as a measuring stick. Everything else is the variable which I'm going to build. So what I'll do is I'll measure that and I don't get too fancy. Within five, I round it off to about 5mm. So that's about 60 in the picture for the diameter of the tire. Then uh, the next thing I want to do is find out where to put this here and where to cut it off here. And if I measure from the top of the tire to the window approximately, it's about 60. So that tells me that if I grab another tire and put it on top of there, that's where the windows start. And I do it on this image, it's around 55, 55. So I know my measurements are within Kui's range because I've done it on a couple of images. So then I'll take my tyre, knowing that if I get two tyres and put another one there, that's going to be the bottom of my windows. Then I can take the uh, truck and use the tyre as a measuring stick. I don't need to measure my steel. I only needed to measure the image to get a uh, figure out what was one tire height. Here's the um, piece of metal that we're using for the front. So I'll roughly place it about here. At this stage, I'm only roughing it. And if I can get a tire here and I put that so it's sitting on top of that tire, roughly. And all I've got to do is line up the top of that metal with the top of that tyre. Okay, so two tyres high is the beginning of the uh, window frames at the front of the truck. The next thing, now that I know this is pretty roughly where that's got to sit in relation to the floor pan and all that jazz, I know that this here is going to be in about that piece of metal I got over there is going to be about the same height as this in relation to the wheel and the chassis. Next thing I'm looking at is the bottom of the front of the cab and noticing that lines up with the top of the rim on the tyre. Okay. So, top of the rim, there. That's where I've got to cut this metal to get it the right height, which is pretty much where the sticker is. So I might go a bit lower to give myself some meat and I can cut a bit more off later. So about where these words start here, I'll draw a line and I'll cross cut that off and that's how I'm going to know to rough in the size of this.
There you go. It's the very front part roughed in. It's just sitting on bits of wood and whatnot. But it's within Cooey's range. I'm not going to go any further on it right now or do any more videoing. I just wanted to rough it in and I'm happy with where it is. I'm just debating whether I'm going to move this front axle forward a little bit because this isn't proportionally correct to the original. The if this was where the door starts it's at the front of the tyre and it needs to be more like here uh, let's see if I can find a door goes down and is kind of in there it's not on the outside edge so if I leave it like this it's going to be quite different the door will be quite a lot more forward and I can't really move this back because the chassis rail's there. So either I cut the chassis rails and shorten them, or I move the axle forward, or I just don't worry about it and just make it here. That's good enough. So I'll think about that. Yeah. Now I can add a panel down here below the floor pan. It'll and then I'll have the arch come up and go down and you know stuff will happen and there'll be a cab there all right guys I wasn't planning on doing a build video with this I just wanted to show you how I used um, tires to measure and rough in things but you know how I was talking about it before that tire sitting on top of that tire is level with pretty much where the windscreen's going to start that's what I was talking about yeah the only other thing worth mentioning is I used the chassis here to get my centre line. I didn't use that uh, floor pan because that not, wasn't on square, it was just on. So I got centre off the chassis and transferred it to the floor pan and to this. And that's how I got that. There. And the height is just roughed in at this, at this stage. It should the bottom of this should be around here I think for memory so I might cut that a bit shorter we'll see all right we'll catch us later mm -hmm.